السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اعزائي طلبه جريد 5 هنكمل مع بعض برضه درس مهم جدا في الايكويشن سولفينج ذا ايكويشن ان ان وات از ذا مينينج اوف سولفينج ذا ايكويشن سولفينج ذا ايكويشن مينز فايند ذا فاليو اوف ذا فاريبل ان ذا ايكويشن اند ان 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 ريفيرز تو ذا سيت اوف ناتشرال نمبرز ان ذا فور اتس ا بالانسد سكيل ذا تو باندز ار بالانسد Then it's an equation. The watermelon and two kilogram equal two. The watermelon's weight we don't know it. Therefore, it's x. For example, x plus two is equal to. We can find the weight of the watermelon mentally. The watermelon's weight is eight kilograms. Eight kilograms plus two kilograms. Equal to ten kilogram, but we have to make it in steps. What is the steps? In the beginning, in, let's agree that the addition operation is the opposite of the subtraction operation, and also the multiplication operation is the opposite of division operation. So, in this equation, x plus two equal ten. All we have to do is translate the operation with the variable, which is x. To the other side in the opposite operation, just like that. X has plus two. We will translate this plus two into the other side to the other side by the opposite operation. Plus will be minus. X will be alone in this side equal ten is the original number in this side. Minus two plus two will translate into minus two. Then x equal eight. Now we find the value of x in this case. Mentally we find that that it's eight kilogram, but we have to make it in steps. Another example: eight plus four equal eleven. The variable is a. A in its size we will find. Plus four will translate it in to the other side, to the other side by minus. Therefore, a equal eleven, the original number minus four plus become minus. Then a equal seven. And b minus four six equal fourteen. The variable is b. B equal. Minus six will translate to the other side by plus. Fourteen is the original number plus six. Therefore, b equal twenty. Five x equal twenty. The variable is x. Then it multiply and written here. And written here. Therefore, x equal multiply will translate to the other side by divide. The original is twenty. Divided by five, then x equal four. And finally, x divided by seven equal three. Therefore, x will be divided will be translate by multiply three the original number multiply seven. Therefore, x equal two. In each case, we can you can check your answer by substituting. Your variable by the answer. It means a equals seven. Replace a with seven. It makes seven plus four equal eleven. And now hmm, b equal twenty. Replace b by twenty. Twenty minus four. Uh, twenty minus six equal fourteen. Five x equal twenty. Let's substitute x by four. Five multiply four equal twenty. Seven divided. X divided by seven equal three. Will we will substitute x by twenty one? Twenty one divided by seven equal three. It's all right. What if there is two operations in the same side with the variable x? First, you have to proceed the addition and subtraction in the beginning. Don't forget. Addition and subtraction in the beginning. It means plus four 
will translate into minus 4 2x equal 14 the original minus 4 therefore 2x equal 10 now we will proceed the multiply addition first after that to multiply x equal 10 multiply become divide divided by 2 it means x equal 5 we can check your answer by substituting x by the number 5 2 multiply 5 equals 10 10 plus 4 equals 14 that's right another example y divided by 6 minus 3 equals 7 first we have to proceed the subtraction after that we will proceed the divide therefore y divided by 6 minus 3 will be plus 3 7 the original plus 3 y over 6 equal 10 therefore y equal divided will be translated by multiply 10 multiply 6 therefore y equal 60. To check your answer, substitute y by the number 60. 60 divided by 6 equals 10. 10 minus 3 equals 7. That's also right. Now we finished the solving of equation in this little video.